Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, I told you guys that uh, I told you last night that I'd make a video about doing uh, tier one, building good tier one links with uh, GSA, and I made a video, but it, it wasn't that good because I was tired and I had a little bit of a, a sore throat. So I'm gonna make the video now and do it again. All right. So what you want to do is open up a new project, and you can see I've got the project screen opened here. For tier one link building with search engine ranker, you really can only do blog comments and forums because you're what what ends up happening is you're telling uh, search engine ranker to go to a page, scan the page, look for keywords, and then try to post. So if you you know select article or um, you know social network, wiki, and all that. Those are engines, those are uh, platforms where you're creating content. So there's no page for uh, Search Engine Ranker to scan. So it doesn't work. You could probably, I mean, you, you could probably do exploit, um, guestbook, image comment. Maybe, I don't know, guestbook would probably have some low success. Image comment uh, would, would probably be doable. But I just do forums and blog comments. And I use these two pillow anchor text. Um, and get some niche relevant no follow links because most of them are no follow. You'll get lucky every now and then. You'll catch a do follow blog comment. Most of the forum links are do follow, but you're not getting you're you're getting mostly blog comments with this uh, with this method. So what you want to do is you need to get some keywords. So in this case, let's pretend that we're gonna do um, you know I'm gonna try to think of a good a good thing, uh, a good some good keywords that would get that have a lot of search results. So, let's say that um, let's say that we're doing a carpet cleaning company in Denver. Okay, so what I want to do is type carpet cleaning Denver. And these are two separate keywords. So carpet cleaning and Denver are separate. Uh, cleaning house cleaning tile. Hardwood floors, flooring, um, commercial cleaning, and what else can we put? So we can do the suburbs too. So we can do Aurora, Colorado, Arvada, Colorado. Uh, we can do Thornton, Colorado. We can do uh, Littleton, Golden, Highlands Ranch. Spelled it wrong. We can do um, Home Repair. Home improvement. We can do home services, houses. Wait, no, I don't know if I want to do that. Uh, maybe houses for sale. It's so kind of on the same page there. We can do basically what you want is you want to find as many keywords as possible, but that 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 are relevant that are that are broadly related to your site. They don't have to be exact. So, for example, if you just put carpet cleaning in here. You might not get any links. So what you need to do is come up with, you know, local areas and like for example, like I put tile cleaning, home improvement, and those are all broadly related items. So then what I do is I come down here and I do mostly branding anchor text for for this type of um, project. So I might put uh, Adam's carpet cleaning. Okay, so maybe we want to do that sixty percent of the time. You know, ten percent we can do um, carpet cleaners, and then sometimes we might do Denver carpet cleaning since that's our exact that would be our exact match anchor text, but we don't want to use that too much. So, so that's sixty percent, seventy percent. Maybe we do some partial match. Um, the big thing here is keeping your anchor text. You don't want to go crazy, and what you want to do ideally is use um, exact match anchor text on your most powerful links. 
So if you're going to go out and buy some PBN links or you're paying for placements, um, use use your exact match anchor on those links. Use GSA uh, and tactics like this to pillow that anchor text so you don't just so your anchor text is not over optimized. We go in here and do every blog comment is Denver carpet cleaning. I mean that's not going to work. We'll get a penalty. We'll get an, we'll get an algorithmic penalty probably. So anyway, so I'm going to do uh, maybe we'll do 15% for this. So that's 70, 85. So 15% of the time we're going to get this anchor text. Um, all right. So then you want to come down here, fill out your website title. Now for the about yourself section in the forum area, I always get rid of this and I put um, a little bit about the business. So I might put, I own a, I own a carpet cleaning company in Denver, Colorado. Adams carpet cleaning is the best and we are, we're really good at cleaning carpets or something about the business. Then what I'll also do is throw a local citation in. So I'll put the address, phone number of the business. Um, so we'll get, you know, so we'll get the link, we'll get the local citation and we'll get some, uh, some relevant content surrounding it. But you don't use the stuff that's in here and don't import it from content machine because that's not going to work. I mean, it works, but it's not going to work for what you want to do. Just rewrite the stuff yourself. And then we don't have to worry about forum comment because we're not going to make any forum comments. Same with the blog comment. We do not want this. It is not good. And you don't want to import your blog content from Content Machine because it's still going to be spun. It's still not going to read right. And the blogs that we're going after are moderated. So we need to be able to write a comment that's going to pass moderation. So you know, I always put something like, I I loved this post. And I'll just put like I read I read your blog fairly often and you're always coming out with some with some great stuff. I shared this on my Facebook. And my followers, oops, I spelled it wrong. Followers loved it. Keep up the good work. And then maybe a smiley. So, so what you want to do also is you definitely want to spin this. You might want to write three or four blog comments and spin them. Um, so, you know. Instead of I loved this post, you can put like, I mean, you could even replace the whole sentence. You could put this post is great, um, awesome post. So you, you want to get some uh, mixture here. But just for making this video, I'm not going to sit here and spin this by hand. But don't use a content spinner. Just take the 15 minutes, spin up three comments, and do it yourself. Because if you use a spinner, people are not going to approve your comments because they're not going to sound right. Um, so that's that's my advice. And you know, that's all we really need for that section. So to, to be able to post to niche relevant blogs, okay, so the first thing you want to do, in case, you, in case something happens and you start getting a lot of links, you don't want to get a lot of links. Um, I usually set this to three verifications in a day, you probably you might not get three verifications in a day. So this is a project that you're going to want to run all month because it, uh, you know, it's a bit way higher quality. You're, you're not blasting links. You're you're just slowly dripping links in, uh, and they have to be moderated in most cases. So, anyways, I just pause the project after three verifications reached in a day for your captcha solving. You, you're going to need a backup CAPTCHA service. So you're going to need to CAPTCHA or decapture because the CAPTCHAs on the blogs that we're trying to post to aren't just the basic, you know, crappy CAPTCHAs. These these are like recaptcha in some cases. Uh, so you, you, that's the first thing, you know, that's really important is that you have a backup CAPTCHA solver and it is going to cost you some money, but 
I mean, these, you'll get some good links. So I don't send them to I don't send the links to the indexer. I wait till they're all done and then I drip them. Some will get picked up automatically, but you know, I just go back and drip them through indexification. And then I have an IFTTT network that really works good. If you, you know, if you need to index authority links, you should build an IFTTT network and just tweet your links out and it'll go through the whole network and it'll get picked up like almost instantly. So Moving on, so how are we going to find the URLs to post to? Um, so what we're going to do is first check none. Then we're going to, I just check by language. So, you know, I'm, I'm in Denver, Colorado, so I want English sites that are they're going to be in English. So that's how I do it. I mean, I imagine you could check all of them, but I just do English ones. Now, here's the most important part. The second most. This is actually the second most important part. I get rid of this. I get rid of this, and I get. Obviously, you don't want to use URLs from global site lists. What you do want to do is click on Always Use Keywords to Find Target Sites. Now it's going to give you this little deal here that tells you that GSA Search Engine Ranker just uses general footprints to find sites, which is true. We don't want it to use general footprints. We want it to find niche relevant sites. So we're going to check this. You're going to get this message that says a lot of potential sites get skipped when using this option. Reiterates that GSA uses footprints, but we don't want it to use footprints. We we need it to um, we just need it to look for the keywords. So we're going to hit yes, and then you know you fill this out. I mean, this really isn't uh, necessary. I just leave it blank for this type of project. All right, so now what I do is I usually skip sites with more than 30 outbound links for this project. Normally I'll do like, normally, you know, if I'm doing a tier project, I don't even check this box. But, you know, in this case, we're building links directly to our money site. So we don't want crap. I mean, this is very, this has to go, you know, very carefully. So, so I check that. I, I, check, I choose 30. You might do 50 or 20 or 100 if you want it you know it doesn't matter but I just do 30 and then I come over here and this is probably the most important part so I don't want to post to sites that are just the IP and then you want to check this you're gonna get that message again but that's fine because you're you're basically telling GSA that you can only post to sites where my keyword is present so click yes, and then I do, you have a couple different options, but I just do anywhere. So my keyword needs to be, at least one of my keywords needs to be present somewhere on the, anywhere on the site or on the, I don't know if it's on the page or on the site, but I just put anywhere. Obviously you want to set your, uh, you know, your porno filter. And then I come down here. And I skip sites from the following languages. Obviously, I want English sites. I don't want sites in any other language. So, so that's it, man. That's how you, those are the settings. Now, if you run this project, you might only get one link a day. I mean, you're not going to get a lot of links. But that's the point. So at the end of the month, if you've got 20 good niche relevant blog comments, I mean, that's great because now you can go out and build yourself some authority links using exact match anchor text. So this really helps smooth out your anchor text ratios, helps to provide uh, relevance to your site, and it's safe. I mean, really, you, can, you can't screw this up unless you do something stupid. You, know, you can't screw it up unless you do, I, I suppose. But, um, but that's it, man. That's kind of what I want to show you. I mean, I guess the rest, uh, you know, obviously you, you're going to put it, need to put in some emails. Because if you're going to make forum, forum accounts, got to have emails. Um, just the main takeaway here, use a lot of keywords. Try to find some broadly related keywords. Be careful with anchor text. You know, definitely use a lot of branded anchor text. Use some LSI and whatnot. Um, then just make sure you don't use that crappy blog comment. Don't use imported blog comments. Write your own, take 20, 30 minutes, however long it takes you, 
write up three blog comments, spin them yourself, <clears throat> because that's the key. People know when stuff is spun. Like I can tell. I've spun so much content that I can just pick it up. I just know when stuff is spun. So other people do too. Uh, so you just man, make sure that this blog comment reads correctly. And you'll get people that will approve it. And you'll get people that will – they'll actually reply back to you. And they'll say, thank you so much. I'm glad you liked my post, this and that. So it's really cool when you see uh, a webmaster responding to a comment made with a uh, software it just feels really good so i hope you guys enjoy this i hope you get some uh some value out of it and if you have any questions just hit me up in the skype group